This is a demonstration and tutorial on how to complete towns in Logistical. So this is a game which I've been playing for a while, so I've got a whole lot of trucks and uh, I've also completed a whole lot of towns. Now the ones that are complete are the ones that are coloured and the ones that are white are the ones that get still to be done. So for this I'll select a fairly small town um, which you can tell that they've got a small building. So I've selected Northmead for this particular one. Now we look at what the um, town is. We've got Northmead, it's got a population of around 7,000. It needs rocks and that's all it needs. So that's a fairly easy one. And it needs 13 tonne of them. So I need to select a truck to deliver that. So we could do it in a um, articulated truck which does 20 tonne, but I don't think a truck could get to those suburbs so we'll go for a smaller dump truck and uh, I've selected number 21 which is in the close vicinity so I click on the rocks and I notice two places come up this one's yellow and it's uh, got zero available uh, it's actually yellow standing for storage so you can actually move large amounts of uh, cargo into the storage areas and pick it up for later on. Uh, there's actually a rock pit over here at Dover Heights and um, it's a three star so it's been upgraded and produces fairly quickly so we can take it from here. So we let go on there, it sets up a route, you can see the little rocks moving along that route. Uh, then we put power onto our truck and Give it a repeat. And so it should have that done in a couple of goes. Now for another town, while well that one's happening, I've picked one just up north a little way. And I've got one called Camwell. So we click on Camwell, there's no industries. So they want gravel and they want bacon. So we can select another truck, that one is fairly close and we can drag our gravel and have a look where there is any. Uh, let's just move our map and zoom out a bit. So we have some or plenty here and uh, we can connect that one up. Set that truck going. Now it only needs 7.4 tonne and so we don't even need to repeat on that one load and it's done. So for bacon we need to select another truck so um, this one's out at Broken Hill and this one's in Tasmania so I'll select this one. So bacon's a little bit harder to source because it has to be made. So we look and we see what has bacon and we've got some out at Musclebrook. So we look at Musclebrook, it only has uh, less than 6 tonne, it actually has 4.8 tonne and there's no pigs. So we need to get some pigs delivered there. So instead of uh, getting a smaller load we'll go get the pigs and move them in first. So if we click on Musclebrook zoom out a bit further because pigs are going to be likely out in the country and then we go we want pigs in and so we can see some out at Canamble so we'll take those there's only 4.8 tonne of those so um, if we look at what Canamble has they need mung beans to produce more pigs um, pigs are the most complex type of animal product uh, as they need two types or the rest they need one. So anyway we'll get our dump truck to deliver that in, give it some power and we'll just take the one load in. Now notice there was a truck out here near Canamble, that's an articulated one so uh, we can click on that particular one and we can get it to deliver the mung beans. So there's some down here at Narromine. So we'll set that up as a route. 
and set that truck off. So, um, we've got a few things happening now. Let's go back and have a look at our truck in here. Um, to quickly find it, you can actually look at the dump truck and then go and click on the town that it's delivering to. So it's over half full for the town now. Um, there's a little bit of consumption happening by the town. Once it gets past that 50% mark, then it starts deducting a lot faster. Alright. Now, if we look at a more complicated town than the two that we've done, say um, Kaikan, this one has three different types of resources that it needs. So it needs wire, it needs tomatoes, and also it needs any one of these different products. Um, so there's a lot of choice there. Um, for example, on how that works, if we just zoom out a little, and we can click in the uh, blank area around all of these different resources and just drag and then it highlights the whole lot so we've got bottles up here um, we've got um, jewelry over here we've got flowers here so any one of those can actually satisfy that town now we need 27 tons oh no sorry has that so we can actually Put that in and send it off. Give that truck power and away it goes. Up at Camwell we've got our delivery happening. Now as you can see there's um, still some cargo in the back of the truck and the reason for that is this little button right here on the empty floor it only happens for eight ton and over trucks but what that allows you to do is to stop them from dumping the entire load so you can use it for something else so if we click on that truck we find that there's only a, a smidgen left there it's nearly empty so we can release it here and use the truck or we can take it to a storage place or another town that needs it Oh look, our North Mead's done. So we've got 6,968, that's a dollar for everybody that lives there. And we also got a bonus, we end up getting a speeder. So that's uh, for 3,900 kilometres for that particular truck. The bigger the truck and the uh, larger it is, uh, the more kilometres you get for it. And so that'll be added. You can uh, see that when you put your mouse over it on there. So we can close that one there. And uh, let's get rid of that last little bit. And now we've got a free truck to use. Places where you may want to, uh, if we uh, look at this truck here, which is delivering the mung beans, um, when it delivers it to Canamble, it can actually dump more than the uh, storage allows for. So that can be handy for having large amounts of uh, input for an industry. So it'll keep dumping until it's totally empty. I didn't want it to, I could actually stop it. But we'll let it go. Okay, it's going to take a while for that truck to actually get up there and move the pigs. And then it'll deliver the pigs over to Musselbrook and then that'll um, get processed into bacon which we could then move into our town of Canwell and all that's got to happen before that green gets back to a yellow so even though it is fully green the town still consumes it 
and uh, if it does go yellow, that means you have to send the truck out and get another batch and bring it back up past the green. And so once both are over green at the same time, you've got a complete town. Alright, thanks. That's enough for now.